What's up everyone? What it do? Hey guys, my name is Tina Alexander and welcome to my channel. Alright guys, welcome back and if you are new, welcome. Before we get into this video, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. You already know what it do. A little shopping. Further ado, let me stop all this random and let's get into it. My first step is going to be to tame these brows okay so i like to do my brows first then i like to prep my skin it's just something that i just prefer to do and i'm using the pencil from benefit their precisely brow pencil in the color number five I'm going to be using, well, mixing two different concealers to get this nice, clean, sculpted look and for my eyeshadow um, primer also. So I'm going to be mixing the P. Louise in the number five um, eyeshadow base. And I'm going to also be mixing it with the LA Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. Now, the reason why I do this is because P. Louise it has a very pinkish shade undertone and I don't like it so I'm gonna mix this up just to give a little more color to it. Alright I'm just gonna mix those together. Let's sculpt these brows and sculpt it. It's sculpt it. And to blend in this concealer, I gave it a nice smooth look. Um, I'm going to use this Morphe E27 brush. Okay, so now that this is all set and ready, it's time for the So, you guys want to know what eyeshadow palette you will be using today? Hmm? Hmm? Alright, drum roll please. We are most definitely going to go with this palette instead since this is the mood that I'm in. I call it. But I will most definitely do a tutorial on the eyeshadow palette. Most definitely will. Go ahead and a fresh. It smells fresh too, guys. Alright, so the first color I'm going to use is going to be in the crease area. I'm going to use the color. using the brush from MAC 217. So we're going to dabble in the color Cano. Cano. I'm going to use this as my first transition color using the brush Morphe M411. We're going to, the next step is going to be is to find like a nice little shimmery for the lid. And I think I'm going to dabble in the color Bennett. 
All right, next I'm going to go into the color Dahomey. 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 Just going to apply that right in the center. To that MAC 217 brush. I'm going to go back into Mino and blend this all together. Okay, so now it's time to put on. All right, guys, I am back, and this is the finished look for the eyes. In another video, I showed I got a few things from Simple Wrap. All right, I got the Too Faced Concealer, Too Faced Setting Powder, Too Faced foundation, the new one from Jackie Anna, and the colors, and a few other things in there, but y'all don't even know about that, okay. And um, the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops that I spoke about that I'm so excited to use. This is the one that I normally use, um, number 50, and this one is 52, so. All right, it's time to prep the skin. I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh no, guys, I... <sighs> no! All right, well, not using that. So we're going to use... So we're gonna go into the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Chai. These are the new colors that Jackie Anna did and I'm excited to use it. So she said it really is a full coverage, like medium to full coverage, so I really don't need that much. So I'm going to do about, we're going to do two points. One. All right, first, of course, I'm going to mix in the Marc Jacobs Three Drops in number 52. So one pump of that. All right, y'all. All right, y'all ready? Place this all over my skin. I'm hoping this is my strength. <laughs> Cause that will be funny if it's not. Cause I'm putting this all over my face like I am confident in this shade. That's the sad part. I mean, it's like the closest shade that she had to me that it seemed like in Sephora. So to apply this, I'm going to to blend this all, and I'm going to be using this brush that I got from um, Ulta. It's called Jack Bon Musk. They're not their brush, their brush number 709. Okay, spray. Doesn't matter what spray, spray it out, spray the face. Alright guys, this is looking a little orange. Brush or what? But this is what happens when you try new things. I'm gonna go back to what I know and I want to go into the Real Technique brush and the Real the, the Expert Face Brush. All right, so the next step is to conceal the face. So I'm going to go into the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant and I'm using the color tan. 
And this I have used before, so there's not really a surprise with this one. Um, they do have a new one. It's more of like a matte finish. Then this has like a more gradient finish, and I prefer gradients. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take the same beauty blender. I'm gonna spray it. Start off by blending out my forehead first. For my forehead and probably my chin, I'm going to be using the Anastasia um, foundation stick. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to use the <laughs> We're using Bobbi Brown foundation stick in color chestnut. Those areas. I'm going to go into the Anastasia foundation stick, but in color earth. I'm going to go into the MAC 100 brush, and I love using this to blend out any type of creamy product. Like it's just, it's like the density in the brush is just perfect enough to get that flawless airbrush look. Powder. This is the part that actually scares the life out of me because this is to, to me this is what really matters. Like so, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Okay, I'm gonna take the other side of the beauty blender, dabble in that. Let's see what it's all about. Alright, so my first impression on this powder is it's soft. I'm going to go into the Anastasia Medium Tan Contour Kit and Medium Tan. And I'm going to be using the Real Technique Blush Brush. Now, I kind of use this brush for a few things. I use it to step all over my face, I use it to contour, I use it for blush. It's just an amazing brush. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I found. I love it. <clears throat> Alright, next I'm going to carve out my cheeks because I want a more defined jawline. I'm going to smoke out my waterline underneath my eyes to give a little life. I'm going to dab back into that Warrior Juvia's eyeshadow palette. And basically, basically, I'm just repeating the same steps that I did on the top. All right, my next step is going to be to line my waterline and I'm using the Inglot Black Liner. I'm gonna add mascara to my bottom lashes and I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Why took this long to pronounce that? Bad Girl Bang. Okay. 
so now that I it's completed, one last step, and that is to All right, everyone, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will be back with more wonderful, wonderful makeup tutorials just for you. Deuces.